Hey guys, today is uh, Sunday, March the 5th of 2023, and I want to go over the metals market. Boy, look at uh, platinum. Look at that bull kicker. Weekly bull kicker candle. Very powerful. Silver is kind of just inside a weekly bar. Gold at least is pushing a little higher from last week's high, so that looks very positive. Platinum, just kind of stagnant. Uh... I'll support kind of inside a uh, weekly bar. Uh, not really too too much excitement there. And copper just kind of holding this uh, 407, 408 line. It's just doesn't want to go lower. doesn't really want to go higher. It's just kind of holding to that line. So let's look at the uh, chart, simple glance, and see what clues we could get out of there for this uh, week. Okay, so this is our simple glance chart. And over here is the dollar. I'm keeping an eye on the dollar. Just kind of doesn't want to go down, doesn't want to go up. If you look at my uh, U.S. Uh, dollar uh, last video I posted, there's a lot of information there that you could find valuable. Uh, but looking at gold, pretty much inverse of the dollar. You got a PPS buy signal. MACD is positive, and the volume was pretty much strong, pretty strong uh, towards the for the bulls. Uh, you're in the cloud. You're kind of right here. You got to deal with that 50. And uh, if it pushes higher, that 1899 would be your target. Uh, we could close above the uh, 50 on the daily. And on the weekly, you can see that it was finding support with the uh, 20, the 50, and the 100 right here. Uh, point of control was at uh, 1834. And uh, there's some resistance here. And this is support, mind you. This level right here of 1848. So I will watch out for 1878 all the way to uh, 1883. That's the value area high, same as here, 1899. Uh, what concerns me is the weekly uh, MACD is still negative. Uh, volume was pretty good last week, uh, but that's the only concern. But in the short term, it looks like it wants to uh, uh, push higher. Let's look at uh, some levels. You're above pretty much all your previous uh, 50 from the daily, weekly, uh, except, uh, except the monthly. This uh, is going to be 1893. This would be your ultimate target there. Uh, the good thing is that you're above the yearly uh, midpoint, which is good. And you're above the VWAPs on the monthly and on the weekly. So that's good. So, yeah, targets 1877 all the way to 1891 for uh, this week to the upside. That's going to play out. Uh, let's go to uh, silver. You can see you can see the silver is the worst because it's already fell out of the cloud short term. So it's a little more negative. You know, it's chopping around the 200 SMA. Uh, you're going to have to deal with the 20 coming up and the 100. So got key levels right there. What's positive, uh, what's good, it is positive on the daily. Volume was pretty good for the bulls. On the weekly, volume was pretty good for the for the bulls. It looks like we got a little hockey stick. What I call a little hockey stick is this. And maybe uh, it's going to turn too, like the other ones, uh, like gold. Um, you got point of control, 2132. It's already at 2138, just right above it. But, you know, in the cloud. So it could get a little little choppy here. This looks like it's kind of some support. You know, regression's channel pointing up. So target to the upside, at least if we could get out at a, above and close at a 2246, that would be great. And in the monthly, you're kind of chopping around here, getting into the cloud and this is a strong level 2099 and so far it's holding it but the macd so far is positive but it looks like it wants to uh, close negative so we gotta keep an eye on that uh, you can see it's a far away from the uh, midpoint on the yearly and uh it's at least above on the daily and chopping around on the weekly uh, but I guess next week it will turn positive. As long as it doesn't close below 2094, you should be good. Uh, maybe so a little momentum to the upside. So if it was to go up, 
using this it'll be short targets 2160 all the way to 2182 if we could close above 2182 oh, that's uh pretty healthy yep let's go back to uh i want to show you something on copper copper is interesting uh we already know on the monthly is pretty strong uh, on the daily on the weekly is chopping around that 408 this is the line in the sand uh, you got you guys to check out my twitter normally when i can do videos i normally post some things and uh this is the line in the sand and what's negative here is that the macd is still uh negative volume was good um macd is still positive i don't know volume was mixed yesterday looks like the bears a little had a little more control uh, Thursday and Friday so it's just kind of just chopping around not really moving much trying to hold that 408 407 but what I wanted to show you here is that look at the daily this is squeeze play setting up uh, since uh, February the 27th and it looks like the pressure to the explosion is to the upside so this is just kind of calculating pressures building up here in this little area from the 27th pretty much from like right here to here and it looks like the explosion looking from back here wants to go and it wants to push higher so you just want to keep an eye on that uh the levels hasn't changed it's trying to hold that uh yearly uh midpoint which is that 408 and that's why we've been chopping around pretty much gold and silver and all these kind of pushed a little lower and now we're above it and uh copper is just trying to hold that at least and it's just consolidating going sideways uh and on the monthly it's a little weaker on the weekly and on the daily it's already below it so 411 so what i want to see is next week if we could push higher at least close above 409 and regain that uh it's at 407 it's kind of a little fractal like pennies here uh, but the key is holding that 408 if we take out like pretty much 399 or four dollars and close and push lower then that's not good that's not good at all platinum very interesting price action on platinum let's see looks like we got a little macd crossover here in the monthly strong level right here 955 on the monthly kind of chopping around here just a lot of chop here kind of impulse wave here below the cloud uh above at least 961 you're at 983 so you're somewhere around here so we could get above 996 that's going to be good because then you're out of the cloud on the uh, weekly volume was good it looks like we're going to have a crossover next week so somebody is buying it and uh it has some good volume and the bears were nowhere in sight thursday and friday with a positive macd pushing higher although the market sentiment hasn't based out yet and gone up uh, maybe this could be the start i have to look at the cycles and all that and do all the all these calculations i have uh, but i'm working on that because it's just a lot to do with so little time and having a family is just a little challenging uh, but so far, yeah, it's looking good at the value area low, 975. Uh, let's look at the uh, squeeze play. There's no squeeze play set up here. And uh, target to the upside. The the big one is that 996. If we could close and get, get there and close above that, or at least hold that, that's a good sign. You're already above uh, the monthly one, which is 975. And above the daily and the weekly. So that's good. That's positive. And target to the upside uh, for next week, if it's going to continue. Uh, well, obviously, the first one is 996. If we get above there and uh, push higher, 1,006 and 1,027. Those are the two I'm looking for for next week. And lastly, palladium, the dog of the metals uh let's see made a low on the 24th just kind of going sideways 
uh, Hekanashi candles are positive, but the trend is still negative and you're still inside the mobile band. So nothing really good here. The only thing positive is the MACD, but you can see that it's just been going back and forth. So you could get chopped up and volume wasn't really good at all. Very low volume. And yesterday's uh, Friday's volume was kind of mixed with a little more edge to the bulls, but nothing really there. You're not even above the 20. Uh, I know some of the cycles. I got to look at the cycles uh, to get a better gauge off the top of my head. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, look at that. The last, uh, was it, uh, four weeks, not including last week. Look at the volume on the bears. Very strong flush to the downside. So just looking at the big picture, you can see that it's just below the cloud on both time frames. So the trend is down. On top of that, it's trying to hold the uh, 100 SMA on the monthly. And there's the 200 right here. And it's just kind of floating around here. Is it possible it could go to here? Kiss this linear regression channel? Yeah, it's possible. Uh, but no signs of bulls showing up here. So it'll be interesting to see how this is going to play out. I don't think there's a squeeze play set up here. I don't even see a yellow bar here on the weekly. So it's just kind of now going sideways here is on the daily. In uh, regards to levels. Uh, it needs to hold at least 1440. Right now it's positive on the uh, daily midpoint. On the weekly, it's just kind of chopping around right here. So as long as we can stay above 1440, at least 14, that's good. this week is going to start 1427. But it'll be good if we can stay at least above 1447. And if it's going to go up, this, the target would be... 1465, well, not 14, 1483 and 1502. If we could at least get hit those targets to the upside. But if it can't, at least stay above 1427. Uh, you're above the VWAP. You're kind of chopping around here in the BWAP, but it's not really that much interest on uh, Palladium right now. So it's just kind of stagnant. Well, hopefully you like this video. I'll uh, keep you posted on my thoughts on the metals. Uh, as of right now, I think the ones you probably want to watch is copper, because uh, copper is holding pretty good. Uh, gold, uh, depending how this dollar is going to play out next week, is going to be interesting, but it looks like it's uh, getting like a little head start maybe, and maybe dollar is going to go down to finish that wave five, just off the top of my head, speculating. Uh, silver, just kind of, uh, you know, stagnant. They'll get a buy. They uh, did get a buy. Uh, PPS buy signal. And uh, palladium, platinum, pretty strong. Uh, price action. So those are the ones that I'll uh, keep an eye on. Uh, gold, copper, and uh, platinum. I'm gonna sign out, and uh, I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on the metals sector.